Hey coach, super excited you found us on YouTube. A um, couple things, first of all, go subscribe right now so you don't miss anything. We put up something every day, um, great resources. That's the first thing. Second thing is go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who wanna get better. If you wanna win some state championships, you wanna coach some professional guys, let me help you do that. Um, save time, someone's done it for 30 plus years. I'm here to help. Um, just go over and check us out at teachhoops.com and let's head off to the video. I know I'm over my time, but I'm gonna spend 10 minutes on this. That is shell defense. I, I am a man to man principles guy. I grew up in a small little town in northern, just north of Green Bay, northern Wisconsin, 30 minutes. My dad was a disciple of Dick Bennett. So I learned Pac Man principles from the time I was this tall on. Okay? Every camp I went to was drill for skill. We were in shell defense for an hour. Okay? At the JV level, I pretty much exclusively played man to man help pack principal defense. Okay, we extended a little bit where our pack was, we did some switching concepts, but for the most part the fundamentals stay the same. Okay, so what I need is four guys on offense. One at the wing, one at the point, point and wing. And then I need four defenders out here. Four defenders out here. Matchup however, does not matter. Okay, this is a 4v4 shell, you can do 3v3 shell defense. Uh, especially with the young kids, I think the less bodies that are on the court, the better it is to teach the fundamentals of it. Okay? I love 3, 3v3 concepts. I, we play a lot of 3v3 in our practices, 4v4. It's more space, forces the defense to have to work a little bit harder. But the ideas stay the same. Okay? There's three things I want to hear us yelling out. Okay? Ball is the first position. That is the man who is on the basketball. You are the ball defender. You should be yelling ball, 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 ball. Okay, I got the ball. Okay. If I am one pass off, which would be this defender and this defender, I am yelling gap because my responsibility is the gap. So you guys need to be a little bit, little bit lower and a little bit wider. Okay. So if you're on the ball, gap position is splitting the difference right here. What I am trying to deter this uh, ball handler from doing is a straight line drive. Yes, perfect. And what I, you will hear me yell a thousand times over is let your positioning be your help. Okay, which means we actually jump to the basketball. So if both guys jump to the basketball, both in the gap. Now you are way too focused on a man who doesn't have a ball. I'm here. Split the difference. Okay, another key. We all need to keep our butts to the baseline. Okay, butts to the baseline keeps everyone in a help position and in a flat triangle. So I can see the ball, you and man. We are making a flat triangle right here. Okay? The last position is help. Okay? Your man is two or more passes away. I don't want you hugging this lane line. I want you in the middle. But we don't rotate over to the ball side. We stay on the help line, which is a line right down the center of the court. Okay? The theory behind this, if I make a skip pass over the top, go ahead, Reese. Good, I can recover out to that on time on target. And then you're in the gap, you'd be gapped. Go ahead, you'd be gapped up. You're in the mid, yep. And then you're down in the help line, good. Okay, now the extension you make, and eighth graders you could have this. Okay, if there is somebody that's a great three point shooter out there, and you're on the help line, that's why all the three point shooters go to the corners in games now, because it stretches this help line. You may have to be a step off of that, you may be hugging the lane line on that. Okay. I didn't have too many games at the JV level where we needed to do that. I'm more about showing bodies to the ball and not giving straight line drives. Does that make sense? Okay, let's start with the ball with Drew. We're just passing the ball offense. I want you to hold it for a three count. Okay. Defense, you need to identify where you are supposed to be. Here we go. Good, pass it. Ball, 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 help. Gap, gap, gap. Good, good. Okay, now hold up, hold up, hold up. How many passes away are you? Two. So yeah, you are helpline, you are helpline. So you two are actually stacked on the helpline right here. Okay, you're gapped. Good. Keep it going. Move the ball, move the ball, move the ball. Identify, talk, talk, talk. Are you ball, are you gap, are you help? Let him know, let him know, let him know. High hands, high hands. Good, freeze. Reverse it. Offense on defense, defense on offense. 
Hey coach, so, so pumped that you found us. Uh, make sure you like the video, that helps us a ton. Make sure you subscribe and like, and also go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Identify where we are, good, 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 here we go. Move the ball, hold it for a three count, get their high hands, good. Oh, whoa, whoa, ball back, ball back, ball back. Get where we are. How many passes away are you? Three, right? So you get all the way over here, right? The other thing, Reese, butt to the baseline, remember. Yep, so there you go, perfect. Okay, we always wanna be in this position because I can always see both. Also, if I'm the low man on the helpline, nobody can get below me. I have to be the lowest guy. Okay, and I haven't asked anybody to cut. Go ahead, reverse it around. Identify your spots, here we go. Move the ball, move the ball. Help, 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 help! Reese, careful not to go over that helpline. We're not over the helpline. Touch this guy over here. Long skip. Get there. Good. Help, help, help. Perfect. Freeze. Okay. Now the extension of this. And I love to play this way. Give me the ball in here. Defense. You start out on the baseline. This is 4v4 shell closeouts. 4v4 shell closeouts. And what I'd ask our offense to do in some of these situations, first it may be just be pass and cut. Offense, you're limited to three total dribbles. That way we're not going one-on-one. -on -one. We don't have all the fancy dribbles which drive me bonkers. We're actually trying to move the ball and execute with cutting, passing, those kinds of things. Okay, but the defense starts out here. As a coach, you may have another player. I'm gonna pick any of these four to, to uh, pass the ball to, and we're closing out in that manner, okay? You need to identify your ball, gap, help. Are we ready? Where are you jump? Wait, the middle, help line, help line, help line. Good. Aye, 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 good talk, good talk. High hands, high hands! Good, Reese, I like that, I like that. Get the help line. You gotta know where you're two. Get down, got down. High hands, high hands. Good, switch, switch. Defense, you're down here with me. We'll go through a closeout. Defense, you're down here with me. Wings, stay wide, stay wide, stay wide. Here we go. Get there, get there, get there! My hands close out. Gap! You're not on the ball. Gap! Move, move, move. Don't turn your body. Butt to baseline. Good. Hands up, hands up, hands up. Good. That would be your steal. All right, good. You guys can freeze. Okay? You can play that 3v3. You can play that 2v2 even. Um, in that case, you're either help or your ball. There's no gap position in there. Okay, but I do think it's very important. Um, and I'll give Bill a lot of love. When I had those freshmen last year, they came in knowing how to do this. Um, for me, even if as a program, or even if you want to play zone at your level, these man principles always apply no matter what we're doing. Um, and understanding where I need to be in position is the most vital thing they can do. Okay? Hey coach, so glad you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and like. Before you leave and also go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better it's got everything and a roadmap for you to become a better basketball coach so go over and check it out and let's head back to the next video wherever that would be